good, everybody? It's your boy, Razor Ramon Nabarba. And I'm back with another fragrance review. Yeah, man, you know, I'm back with another fragrance review. Currently, at the shooting of this video, we seen that 1,043 subscribers on the road to 1,100. So I need y'all to do your boy a favor, man. Yeah, I need you to do your boy a favor. I need you to like. I need you to share. I need you to comment. And I need you to subscribe. Yeah, man. I need you to do that for your boy. So when we get to 1100, we're going to worry about 1200. All right, man. Y'all know how it is. It's Monday. So it's my weekly fragrance rotation. The seven fragrances that I had warded or wore through the week. But before we hop into the seven fragrances, y'all know how we do on the channel, man. We pouring up a little bit of this peach crown roar. A little bit of this peach crown roar, man. My wife found a drink, man, on uh, social media. And it's supposed to taste like, um, you mix this with A&W cream soda. I think it's A&W cream soda. And it's supposed to taste like peach cobbler. So I'm going to try that, man, a little bit later on today. But for right now, we just do a straight shot. Now we're going to do a straight shot, man. Cheers, Chico. All right, we're going to hop right into the seven fragrances. Monday, Monday, Monday. From the house of Mason Alhambre. We wore Tabac. Tabac. From the house of Mason Alhambre. Tabac. Man, this is a tobacco leaf. Tobacco, honey, smoke, plum, or oriental notes, amber, white tobacco, peach, and citrus, man. This is a dope fragrance, man. Sweet tobacco, honey, fruity, smoky with some white floors, man. You get that peach in this fragrance. It's a real nice peach mixed with that plum, so it's sweet. But you get an authentic honey. You get a real authentic honey, man. Not like a, a, a synthetic Oh, it's like a real nice syrupy, thick, sweet honey mixed well with some tobacco leaves and some smoke, man. Beautiful fragrance, especially for uh, fall and winter time, man. Dope, dope fragrance. Monday, we wore Tabac from the house of Mason Al Hombre. Tabac. All right. Tuesday, we back Dota from Emporio Armani. And there's none other with Stronger With You. Absolutely. Stronger With You. Absolutely. This is a vanilla, woody, rum, spicy, nutty, powdery, lavender fragrance, man. Nice fragrance. This is a beautiful fragrance, man. I really love this fragrance, man. Definitely reminds you of a uh, fireplace, fall time, winter time. Dope fragrance. Top notes, rum, LMA, and bergamot. Uh, middle notes are lavender, uh, divana, and base notes are Madagascar, vanilla, chestnut, cedar, and patchouli. Again, man, this is a nice uh tobacco warm creamy inviting bright fragrance man with some depth to it you get that rum up top and you kind of get this lma frankincense mirth kind of smoke vibe mixed with some citrus you get some powderiness in the middle from the lavender and on the dry down you get some sweetness from the chestnut vanilla and you get a little bit of earthiness or piney wood and some thick patchouli man tuesday stronger with you from emporio armani all right so wednesday 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 we pulled out some from the house of Latafa, and it's none other than Body Au Sublime. Body Au Sublime. So we kind of had mixed uh, weather this week. It warmed up a little bit through the week. So I think Wednesday, man, it got up to like 70. So I was like, man, let me pull this out. Man, this is Red Jolly Rancher, Hawaiian Punch, wrapped with some rolls, man. This is nice, fruity fragrance. Fruity, fresh rolls, vanilla, tropical. With a little bit of earthiness to it. Top notes are apple, lychee, and rose. Middle notes are plum and jasmine. Vanilla, moss, and patchouli rounds off the dry down. Again, man, this is a type of fragrance, man. In the words of my big bro, Smell Good General, a.k.a. Dedrick L. Hicks, man. This is Hawaiian Punch and Rose, man. That's what it remind me of, like Hawaiian Punch, um, Red Jolly Rancher, wrapped in rose, man. This is a nice, sweet fragrance. Um, a lot of people wonder, can men pull this off? Yes, but you have to like uh, fruity, sweet fragrances. If you don't kind of like those fragrances, then this might turn you off. But if you into fruity, sweet with a little bit of rose, this is right up your alley, man. Body Yahoo, Sublime, House of Latafa. All 
All right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. We back though with another Middle Eastern fragrance. This is from the house of Pandora Scent. And it's none other than Camario Ohm Intense. Their version of Dior Ohm Intense, man. And man, I don't need the original joint, man. If this, if, man, this fragrance is amazing. <sighs> Top note, say lavender bergamot. So you get that a little bit of smoke and that powderness. Um, and that citrus from the bergamot up top mixed with hibiscus and iris. So the powderness and the hibiscus give this a nice, almost like a, a green tea brightness aspect. You almost get like a, a, a green tea uh, vibe um, when those middle and those top fragrances kind of merge. And on the dry down, you got cedar wood, vetiver, leather, and patchouli. It's these the top notes and the middle notes kind of coagulate and mix together and they sit down on that dry note and vegetable and leather and patchouli which gives it some deep some depth some darkness and at the top it's kind of bright airy uh this is a beautiful fragrance man this smells like the original dior Ohm intense man um now those bottles are way over hundreds of bucks so man save yourself some bread it's actually on sale right now for 29 dollars originally for 37 so it's like uh seven dollars off Man, if you like Dior Ohm Intense and you're trying to preserve your bottle or you don't want to uh, spend the bread, hey, this I'm, I promise you, this will do you well, man. Shout out to TLTG Ross, man, for hey, bringing this to light, man. Pandora Scents, Camario Ohm Intense. Thursday, Friday, 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 we back doted with an indie house, man. Shout out to my brother Niles over there at City Rhythm. We back doted with Nashville. Nashville, man, this is a nice fragrance man this is uh coffee mocha bailey irish cream mixed with tussie roll cocoa chocolate this is a with some zest oh, look at the animals on that thing with some orange zest sprinkled with some vanilla and red berry man this is nice man you get some and uh, the red berry reminds me of like a red skittle so you kind of get like this red skittle undertone um with uh top notes of irish liqueur orange zest and nutmeg um middle notes are creme de la coco red berry and mocha and dry down is cream of coconut musk and vanilla man this is a beautiful sweet fragrance man this is a gourmand grenade man so if you like uh sweet chocolate coffee uh with citrus undertones man check this out man um he got afterpay uh available on his website he got samples uh Check it out, man. This is a dope fragrance. If you're looking for something different, if you want to get into indie niche, man, this is a dope, dope fragrance, man. Nashville from the House of City Rhythm, man. All right, Friday. Friday, man, here in uh, Virginia, it was like 70 degrees. So I thought I'd pull out something that's uh, a little bit more fitting for the weather. Uh, I haven't wore this in a while. Uh, I wore it like once or twice since I got it this past summer. And I said, man, let me wear this, man. From the house of Armand is Aurora Fresh. It's their version of Manu Fresh by Versace. And I'm gonna tell you how close this, how close this is to the authentic thing. I wore this and I uh, went over to my brother's house. Um, and um, he loved Manu Fresh. He loved Manu Fresh, man. So I uh I got over to his house and um we, we sat in the car, we was about to get ready to head somewhere, and he said, um, so you got Versace? I said, nah. I said, you talking about Versace Manor Fresh? He said, yeah, you got on Versace. I was like, nah. <laughs> He's like, what you got on? I said, so, uh, you know the Middle Eastern fragrance I be talking about? He was like, yeah. I said, well, a moth make this fragrance called Aurora Fresh, and it's their version of uh, Manor Fresh by Versace. He was like, damn, that junk smell just like it. Bruh, for half the price, um, and actually this has a that, that star fruit up top, this is a little bit heavy on that star fruit. And it lasts uh, at least about an hour longer than Versace Manor Fresh, man. Get this, man. I'm telling you. Uh, from, from my brother nose to my ears, from my mouth to your ears, man. This fragrance is spot on. He said, man, you wear Versace? You wear Versace Manor Fresh? I was like, I started laughing. I was like, ha ha, got you. But hey, that is a dope fragrance, man. Top notes are star fruit, lemon, bergamot, and cardamom. Middle notes are sage and pepper. Dry down is woody notes, musk, cedar, amber, and saffron. Again, man, this smells 
Uh, this is one to one, man. To Versace Mano Fresh. Uh, ain't nothing else to say about it, man. If you like Mano Fresh and you want to try this and see what it is, man, I recommend getting it. I recommend getting it. We wore that on Saturday and Sunday to bring everything home. We had on some from the house of Mancera. Yeah, man, we bust out that Mancera, man. It's none other than Instant Crush. Instant Crush. Crush. And to me, um, yeah, this reminds you of Baccarat Rouge, but it has its own DNA. It's kind of a little bit more uh, citrus, uh, saffron, and ginger heavy up top. Warm, spicy, woody, ambery, vanilla, great animizer, metallic rose, earthy, man. Those are the accords. If you knew the fragrances, accords are uh, uh, adjectives that are scribing the, the, the notes that you're smelling. Top notes are saffron, ginger, Sicilian mandarin, Sicilian bergamot. Middle notes are amberwood, Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, Indonesia patchouli, and the dry down is Madagascar, white musk, sandalwood, and oak moss. Again, man, the best way to describe this is uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 with a little bit of uh, extra kick in the saffron and the ginger twist, man. Uh, I think if you own Baccarat Rouge 540, I still think you should get this because this is, it has that DNA to it, but it has, it's, it's more spicy, man. Um, so I think if you, uh, a lot of people really enjoy this fragrance, man, especially um, women, it's, it's unisex. If you like those type of uh, sweet fragrances with um, some florals and some spice, this can be right up your alley, man. So this is what I had on Sunday, Sunday. All right, man, that's my seven fragrance. I whoa, whoa, whoa it through the week, man. Drop down in the comment section below the fragrances that you had on through the week. We on the road to 1100. We really on the road to 2000, but we gonna take it 100 at a time. I appreciate y'all for the support. Continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As always, until next time, instant transmission.